book lovers you are among friends hello and welcome back to my channel i have no idea why i haven't finished this series none nada no reason stop it's just after one book i somewhat lack the motivation of going through other books and yeah that's it that's my reason kind of embarrassing for a booktuber i know but that's my truth we are not here for all the things that i am doing wrong we are here because i'm going to walk you through all the series that i have not yet finished and maybe you could convince me to read a book or two no pressure though no pressure Although I would definitely like to know your opinion on all of these and how you like the second or third book in the series. Without further ado, let's get into it. The House Made by Frieda McFadden. I think I've talked about this that this book kept me awake till 3 a.m. I was scared and I read it even then. But for some reason, since all of the titles. Uh, uh, of this series starts with the housemaid i somewhat feel that i have already read it i don't know why i'm getting that feeling but maybe the other parts of this book have nothing to do with this one but still i don't think that i can get into this it's kind of a challenge reading the second book and until further notice or until someone convinces me to read this i'm not getting into the second part unlike the previous book this book i haven't read the second part because i have bought the wrong book i have no other reason i am loving the book i loved the book i loved the series somewhat although there were major scenes that were cut and it could have been a lot better but still i think that uh, the reason why i haven't read the second book is solely because i effed up the entire buying process of it i bought the third book so yeah i think i'll get into it maybe next year because i already have a whole tbr to get through before this year ends i love this book uh there were some minor flaws in it but if you ignore all of that i think this book was quite to read and the second part i think the second part is the mistake or something yeah and i want to read it but i haven't bought it yet i don't know why and i have a feeling that it's going to be good but i still have no idea why i haven't bought it my own reading habits are you know baffling to me it's this youtube channel is turning out to be a revelation i have noticed this there were some hidden bad habits about myself that i have discovered through this youtube channel it has been a journey yeah see i read anna huang on my whim because i do feel that all of anna huang's book is based on a rich guy a girl who changes him they fall in love and the person that they trust usually end up being the one who fucks them and then they somewhat find out who the person is and then they live happily ever after this is what goes on <laughs> with all of her stories only the only change is the tropes and the names and the nationalities because she actually works on those and i keep on discovering good places to visit when i'm hopefully rich and that's it so i read her on whim when i'm feeling bad and i need something easy to read and that's it 
I don't usually read her because I have to finish an entire series and probably that's why because I have so many books right now that I don't feel the need to get into her other book. I think it's The King of Pride. Yeah, something like that. And um, someone told me that it's actually good because the protagonist, the male protagonist is someone who is very, you know, geeky sort of. And I like those kind of guys. So, FYI. Or TMI. I don't know. You decide. Brutal Print series. Um, this was fine. This was 3.5 stars for me. And that's it. I didn't even know that there are other parts and I have never heard about any of the other parts even on bookstagram so I don't think I'll be getting into it unless you lot have read it the second part obviously and tell me that you have to get into it then I'll probably do it please do not Ooh. Who gave me this? <laughs> Anything could be used as a bookmark. Anything. Even if... Even the rose that your... Dash 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 gave you. Anything. Let's keep it back. Kind of weird to keep the rose from my special person on a book inside a book that i do not like anyway <sighs> throttled i think that was the first book was a complete challenge for me i was struggling through that book so much there was not a good moment in that and even with the books that I do not like like Shatter Me I still have annotated Shatter Me and there are some great annotations because there are some great quotes but the same cannot be said about this book the first one in the series it was so I don't want to be mean though Let's not criticize it. Let's just say that I do not, did not like it. And yeah, that's it. And that is the reason why I haven't read the other parts. And this is the only series plus that Cruel Prince series that I have bought in, that I have bought the entire series at one go. And now I don't know what to do with it. And see, I tried to get into it. I read, I think, two chapters. The female protagonist was so cringe and so irritating for me. I don't know if I'll read it. I really don't know. And the bad boy is kind of cringy as well in the series. I mean, I'm a fan of F1. I've been a fan of F1 since my grandfather used to, you know, read the papers and tell me about Michael Schumacher. So I've been a long time fan of formula one and when i read this book the technicalities of it is she knows she knows what she has written but story wise and character wise it's a major no for me so that's why i haven't read this book if you have read it please try to convince me from a quote or two maybe hopefully this year i did not like shatter me <laughs> Every other video I say this and I hope that someone would come at me like they came on to me on Instagram Walking on wafer thin ice right now Kind of my jam. Yeah Kind of my jam Anyway, so I will be reading this but I haven't yet pre read this and if this turns out to be good Probably I'll get into the third part of the series next year. Yeah next year hopefully i hope this turns out to be good otherwise i'll make a video i'll make a reel on bookstagram and then it will be it will be world war over aaron warner and everybody will come at me and say mean things and then i'll be depressed for several days yes
that's what happens. I loved, again, my reading habits are shocking me as well. It's not just you guys. I loved Ecomaf. I loved A Court of Mist and Fury. I have no idea why I haven't read this. Maybe it's the length of this. That's the only reason that I can, you know, um, that's the only excuse I could give that why I haven't yet read the series because I was so invested in the whole story. I wanted to know what happens when Faye Darling goes into the, goes back actually to the spring court or was it autumn court? I think it was the spring, right? Roses and something. Yeah, maybe it was the spring. Let's not try to remember. Anyway, so I was very invested in that. And then I was very much invested in the whole Nesta. <laughs> One of these days, I really have to, you know, write down the script, write down all the names and then try to make a video. I can't just, you know, wing it. It's like in Hindi they say, na disha hai na drishti kon. That's what I'm doing right now. Forget it. So as, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, I was very much invested in the whole story and the dynamics of Nesta and Cassian. Let's just say that name and hope it's actually the original name. And then, I don't know, I think the book volume bogged me down and I never picked it up. So, I do know that this is a good book. I do know. Except for the fact that this is like, uh, this book was supposedly where they fight the war and nobody dies. Somebody gave me the spoiler and I'm doing the same. So yeah, nobody is dead. Be happy. That's a good spoiler to give though, right? It doesn't ruin anything. Your favorite characters are alive. Anyway, so yeah, um, that's the only reason I haven't read it, but I hopefully will soon. The Wicked King by Holly Black. I think I do love some of the reels they are making on this book. I just don't no why i haven't read it i mean the length uh, of this book the volume is not a problem it's pretty easy it's really nice i think i'll read it soon i've read one chapter as well and i think i just dnf'd it from then oh i remember the thing with the first book was that there were so many names so many weird names so much of world building that it was just the story was going nowhere and it felt as if the writer were, was trying to throw all these names that didn't make any sense to me and the three brain cells that i operate with got tired <laughs> so that's why i kept this book away hopefully i watch enough reels on this uh, on this book and be able to read it yeah be able to pick it up again the last book that i haven't yet finished from a series is the hawthorne legacy and um why i haven't picked it is because this book took a lot of time to arrive that's my reason and i lost all interest in finding out what happened to Tobias Hawthorne, the second. And yeah, that's it. And then, oh no, I also watched this reel where somebody told me that the girl gets on with a guy that I, I was not shipping them together. I was shipping the girl with someone else and she got with someone else. And that just made it all worse for me. So that's why I didn't pick it up. Hopefully soon, this year. This year, and I'll I'll actually make a video. Yeah. I'm not promising anything, okay? We all know my reading speed.
oh maybe i'll make a video of how much i realistically read in a week that seems like an idea then you will know that all of these books that i haven't read seems like a challenge anyway i'll get back to reading you keep on reading and tell me if there are any books that i should read or if there are any books that you would like me reacting on to um yeah so that's it for the video today i'll see you in the next one bye